Hello and welcome to the Altrincham Garrick Playhouse. This is our foyer area and this is where the audience will first enter the theatre. This is our main house theatre and this seats 400 and this is where we do most of our in-house productions as well as our visiting productions and also this is where our picture house offering is as well. We have a screen that comes down and fills the whole stage area. And currently the stage is set for our Easter family production of George's Marvellous Medicine by Roald Dahl. And then coming onto stage, at the moment for this particular production, we've got the steps out and we've got the pit open. And that's because we've got some puppets that come out of the pit. Um, usually for a big musical, we might have musicians in the orchestra pit. Or for a play, all of this would be covered up and the actors would use this space just like they would use the rest of the stage. And then coming through here leads us to backstage. This is our prop dock area. So generally, this is where most of the props that are used in the show are laid out. There might be a couple of strategic prop tables around the set, but generally this is where they're kept and maintained. And then as we come here, this is behind the set for George's Marvellous Medicine, which is all has to be weighted um, so that the actors are safe on the set and on various different levels. And then here is our scene dock, which um, we're not really utilising that much for this particular show but on big musicals or big productions of plays we can have uh, bits of set that are on trucks that are coming out of here onto stage and this also leads to another area for sound this is where a lot of our sensors and monitors are and then uh, through this door it leads us down to the dressing rooms this is our wardrobe department we're very lucky here that our wardrobe is looked after by an amazing team of volunteers and we create everything bespoke for each production and that can range from a period drama to all the way to modern day. So this is all the fabric that we've currently got in stock, but it's not unusual for us to go up and down the country to find different bits of fabric. In fact, on occasion, seamstresses have come back from one of their holidays with a bit of fabric and a receipt just to get the right thing for that particular production at the time. Um, and this is leading up to some of our wardrobe storage. So again, we can't keep hold of everything because sometimes we might not use a particular piece again. We might sell that on or hire it out. But as you can see here, there's lots of rails of different costumes that we've, again, acquired over the different seasons. When we did the Phantom of the Opera, we built a complete wardrobe for that. Some of that's still here. Um, although sometimes we can be producing a play that's only a couple of years old and that's modern dress. And down here, uh, we've got various hats and shoes. Um, again, sometimes the actors are able to wear their own shoes, and then other times it's a period piece that we have to get the right piece of footwear. And because we have it all here, it means that we can rehearse in that footwear, so the actors really get used to how it was to walk in that footwear so that they can do a unique and tailored portrayal of their character. This is our workshop area. So this is where all the sets and some props are constructed and then also painted. So we have a paint area and a construction area as well as a storage area, which is further back here. So we're very lucky that over our history, we've acquired various bits of sets that we've built. and then we're able to store things that we think would be useful again for other productions. Some things are very unique to a particular production, so sadly we don't have to keep those or we don't get to keep those, but we tend to make everything for our in-house productions. So as you can see here, there's bits of archways that were first used in the Phantom of the Opera, but were then later used in Wolf Hall, uh, next to kind of Gothic windows for churches, and then we've got doors and various different flats. So it's quite unique that there's different genres living next to each other in the workshop. So this is our lighting and sound technical box and that's at the back of the auditorium so it's got a clear view of the stage and the performers that are on the stage at the time. This is Jeff who's our head of lighting and also our head of IT at the theatre. So this area is where the lighting is controlled by, that's the lighting desk with the various monitors. So things will get programmed here and then operated here on the night. And then also this is the sound station, so the sound desk and the sound monitors. For a big musical or a production that's got a big band, we might actually have the sound operator in the auditorium. And that's so that they're hearing the true sound, just like the audience are hearing it, and they're able to mix it from there. 